Hey there, Heather, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Dabu. Welcome you to Turnberry in the early 2000s match play tournament. We have the round of 32. We have a soft normal course with link style rough with moderate westerly winds. We have 32 golfers all ready to go. Scotland, let's see this, and Scotland should be happy. They've got six golfers out of 32, which is pretty good. But anyway, we will be doing a couple matches. The first match we will be televising is the British Isles match between James Braid and Paul Casey. Both these guys went to Augusta. Go for it. One of these guys will be going to the Sweet 16. And we missed by Casey a little bit left. Good shot. Up and down. Okay. Next shot is Braid. England rivalry on the line, not just for international soccer. Paul Casey, Casey at the back, James Braid the pair. Three down here. Casey up, Casey okay. That was too shame. That was too shame. Braid. Mm -hmm. Braid trying to curl. Chance for Casey. To break it up. Yes, sir. Casey does him when we're not winning, and we have a one up lead. One to six. Oh, no. That was a little bit awkward. Great. Maybe he even makes the breed. Look, oh, the slope, the slope. And he's got a tough shot. Up and over. Up and over. Is he close to the pin? Could have been better, but Casey for the hole. Why not? Well, he's three feet short, but it's better than being three feet long. Great for par, nope. Especially if he goes back. So Paul Casey is not good. There will be a bit of a lull between this match and the other match. Of the match because the second match is the 15th of 16 matches. This is the first one. Great has to chip because he's in a tough angle. And then, no. Paul Casey, up and okay. Good job. Man, Paul Casey looks good. Great, and up and yeah. It's close, but I think Casey's got an easy shot. Yep. Like he was coming this time. So Casey makes this shot. He's now three up. Casey's on a roll. Oh, look Braid. Second shot. Braid. 
Get. In case you get on the green. Nope. Not close. Well, she might. Great. Up and is it curled? Here's Casey. Call Casey up. Casey is dead. Is that up? Or par? Yeah. And Casey, ah! Oh, five numbers could have screwed him over and he puts one. Oh boy, is that a momentum changer? Is it? Is it? I think it is. Great, a little bit left on that one. Way wide left. The wind is not pushing the shot. There is a the shot. And the three hundred. Got a bowling score. Great. Second shot. Really curl. Oh, no. Off the apron. Casey. Knows what he's got to do. He does curl a little bit, but at least he's on the green. Whereas Braid isn't. Braid, will he come close? Will he come close? Yep. And Casey's going to make it close. For the hole. Overshot it, but might have a better chance. And he makes that for three. And he's still headed to the back nine. Front nine saw Casey win on five, six, seven. Braid on eight. The other five holes were all drawn. James Braid. Got to um, the best time by winning the main tournament at PGA at Shinnecock, which was home to one of the match plays. I believe that was the... Um, Get a cock the 60s, 70s. Oh, sorry. ABG wants to scan. We're going to probably have an unauthorized commercial break. But anyway, up. Oh, boy. AC shot really took the high flopper. James Braid, up. And up. Let me take advantage of Casey's mistake. Casey wants to cut. Oh, at least he's only three feet short. For the hole. Braid fucked it up. If you had a chance to cut that, that would get back to me. Way nothing. Yep, Chinnacock hosted the 60s, 70s uh, match play, which Howard Twitty won. Not a Conway. I don't think he's related to Conway Twitty. Great. Ooh, that's a tough shot. A terrible shot. Casey's close. I don't know if he'll get it in two. This is for boys. Nope. For the hole. No, he just missed. Braid gets his foot too hard. Which is what he makes. And gets his foot too hard. Paul Casey um, was in the... Am I making that right? Paul Casey. I thought Paul Casey qualified. Did Paul Casey not win a competition? I thought he did. Oh, I'm look, probably thinking about Sir Sid. Delaware Shoe. Shoe, A.G. Shoe. Oh, 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 Right, if you go pointing uno, uh, uno, mano y mano. Oh, that kicked off the bunker, too. I heard that sand shot. Go bunk. Braid, can he get closer to the pin than Casey? A little bit close. Casey should be able to hit this one. Yeah, Braid goes back, and Casey. Uh, these two guys are tooth and nail. If it wasn't for the stretch of Paul Casey, Dominic, whoa, well not. Well, the wind was going to the right, so can't blame Batchock. The whole case is just dead somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, James Bay went at Shinnecock and got into a duck. Paul well, Casey up. Paul well, Casey, well, that was an adventure. Braid up, Braid, will you get in the wall? Oh, that was close. Casey wants to get very close to the wall. Five out of six chance to make it, and he fucked it up. Braid will cut the deficit down to one. Casey had that through to five, six, seven. Now he hasn't won the hole in six. Will Braid tie her up? Well, he's got that one. To a right side and risk the hole. Paul Casey. 
The Blue Packers broke down in the fifth minute before the game was for a second match. Of course, we have two matches at the same time. If time permits, after the second match, any of the matches will have the bonus coverage. Great. Will he pitch it? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That little extra, that would have been huge. Look at this! Oh, my God! What? He did it! Casey at the bat. Maybe this time Casey will not strike out. Although he's got three more rounds to go. I mean, four more rounds to go. Hmm. Well, he's up by two with four to go. So he's looking good. Is that over yet? My age of 15. Up at it. Ooh, the wind is not helping him. Afraid? Yeah, the, the breeze is not there. The birdie. Nope. I don't think Casey's going to hit this one. Well, same amount. Braid. Got it. Casey may miss. But he doesn't. So now the chances continue to braid. Now on to the second matchup. Ogilvy versus Sarah Sand. Two very good players. Jeff Ogilvy. No, no, Ogilvy didn't take a top two finish. So he he could not be elevated to try to go to Augusta. Gene Saracen, the legend from the early days. I think Saracen didn't get a top two finish, did he? No, he didn't. So Saracen, he of the famous double eagle slash albatross in 1935. Oh, he hit the pin. Ogilvy hit the pin. It's done for Boyd. Paul Casey knows a half hole is a winning hole. Jamie is over the water. Yes. Oh, because it was spinning backward. I was like, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. For Boyd. No, no. For the hole. No. For Park. And Braden will be able to hit this one. So Casey is going to have a chance. Well, Braden has to win 17 and 18 to keep the match alive, or else Casey will move on to the next round, which will have 16 more points. Casey's got to do is match shot for shot with Braid. And he will move on to the next round, the round of 16. So there will be eight matches. And yes, we'll keep our eyeballs on two of them. Two of those matches for you. And then the quarterfinals will have one prime matchup and then if time connects the matches Nice shot there. Casey for birdie to ice it. Game over. Paul Casey gets the birdie. He concedes a half. And Paul Casey moves on. He's the first golfer to move on. To the next round. Kai LaFoon beats Joe Tunisia. So LaFoon, who went through a second chance qualifier and got to Augusta. He's still alive. Now we'll go to Ogilvy Saracen on three. Second last match of the card. Ooh. Aye. Do you think that Scottish golf courses are a walk of the park? You don't know anything about golf. Uh, excuse me. Ogilvy. Curling, 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 curling. That looks good. That looks very good. Saracen will have to do something desperate too. 
He knows the score. I don't know. I'll, I'll, for eight feet. some other matches that should be done soon, so we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if it will be Lafayette versus Casey in the round of 16, but it doesn't matter, does it? Sarah set up, Sarah set up, Ogilvy in. Ogilvy says, for line up height. For up height to Carpe Diem. For part. Yes. I think we have to be able to hit both cards. And Ernie Ellis takes on Tiger Woods. Wow, what a battle. Ellis versus Woods in the round of 32, and Ernie takes it. The Big Easy. Takes down Tiger Uppercut. Tiger Woods fans are upset. You know, this is the Tiger Woods from the 2000s that actually was not involved in. Well, yeah, he was involved in his misdeeds and all that, but still, he was on the front of it. That's when he was good. Early 2000s with the Tiger Slam. Remember? He had all four Grand Slam titles at the same time, but he went a different route. Went U.S. Open first, then British, PGA, and Masters for boys. For the hook. It just dove at the last fucking minute. Not good for Saracen. Extra holes for Appleby and Willie Park Jr. Bill Mickelson takes down Justin Rose, so Lefty is in the round of 16. That should be an interesting matchup, whoever he faces. So that is Appleby and Willie um, Park Jr., I believe. Was Willie Park? No, the two Parks were almost battling each other. Um, I know Ernie Ellis didn't have a top two finish. Uh, I think. Oh, Appleby. Or not? No, it's Allen B, not Appleby. I'm thinking something else. Ogilvy! Okay. You got me, son. Team Sarah's side. Sarah's side. Skins the ball. And then you do part of the ball. Ogilvy is out. Ogilvy is out. Jack, Jack White takes down Paul Runyon, five and four. Do, 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 do. Seven Nation Army. So Jack White giving Scotland some go back to it. Oh, James Gray just lost. So we got something coming up. Let's go. This is a part five. Can he get it there in two? No, but it would be a nice pitch shot. Ogilvy? Whoa. Well, if that was straight and true, it would have been in the net. I mean, in the green. Okay. Tina Sorensen says, your move, buddy. No overview. Oh, he's a tie. And Appleby takes down Lily Park. So Appleby does win. So Australia. So Ogilvy sees that his fellow Australia, Appleby, is still in. Well, we're going to the Australian who's not in this thing, like the early 2000s group. That's Jason Day. He's in the 2010s. So the 90s conference. It's 90s and 2010s. This year, Jason Day was the overall one. And you saw his final round line with Lincoln the computer taking precedence. It was Jason Day doing his job. Okay, not that there. For White. For the Hulk. Overshot. Ooh, this is an easy chance. Saracen gets Josh Hutchinson being Jerry Travers by one, so Scotland's got another guy in, is Hutchinson, who did qualify for the tournament. Uh, he was the runner-up in July at the British Open thing for the early 80s, but he won a qualification tournament, so he got in. 3 of 3 down the pipe. Ogilvy will be not down the pipe. He's wide right, Scott Norwood style. Tip a shot for Ogilvy. Put on the brakes, put on the brakes. Sarah Zan. Oh, spin back, spin back, spin back, spin back. Didn't work for Boyd. No, nope, he's close. Ogilvy for the hole. What? Leaking chance. How did he do that? 
Fajegas from Colombia. He won by one up. Robert Carlson, big win over Sean Michelle. So that's a big one for the sweep. Ogilvy, two up. He got his two up lead in the first duels and then they kept parring, like tying each other to the eight. The Saracen got it. But on nine, he's like, back. Natural order of selection. Oh, yeah. On the third lane, we're going to this. And I don't know the Saracen. The team went down the pipe. Well, no, no. Seven shot. Oh, okay. Something. Nothing better than nothing. For Bert. Whoa. For the hope. Got it. There is that. We are down to one. Down to one. Now on to 12, 11. Sorry. Why did I say 12? Good. You can't carry me. Saracen gets the big game. Who will be? We won the game. We won the game. We won the game. Saracen, 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 Saracen. For the hook. What? Jesus, mercy. One out of seven chance. Hagen and Campbell are going next for holes. Uh, Scott for Plank beats Peter Lonard, so not all good news for Australia. They lost one of their guys just for Plank. Who wins? Oh, Ogilvy. Boy. Not Ogle for Ogle B. Taking slap shot reference. Ragos. Okay. Second shot for Saracen. It's going to just curl it. Can't catch that shot. Saracen. 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 Mm, I don't know about that shot. For Park. Jeez, he almost did it again. Can Saracen win this hole? Yes, he can. He's got it. Walter Hagen wins over Chad Campbell, so big name Walter Hagen. Bobby Crookshank beats Denny Schutz, so Scotland's got another one in there. Crookshank and Schutz. And down the middle, the 13th, Saracen, not going away yet. Use an icon of the earlies. Ogilvy, an icon of the 2Ks. That's why, right, for Ogilvy. Uh, all right. Saracen up. He's on the green. Will he stay on the green? Yes, he will. But the question is, can he come close to the pin with this cut? Curl, curl, curl. Curl and spin. Spin, curl. Okay. Saracen for the hole. Nice, close. And he misses that shot, too. Three out of four chance, and he flubbed it. Ogilvy will go back to two up. Five to two up. A little bit to the right. And right up the middle. Three. Ogilvy. Okay. Saracen. Will be well. We've got to make things interesting for Mr. Saracen. Mr. Saracen. Yes. The ties of the two up. Kenny Perry beats Alf Padgham. So nice job by Kenny. And now we got ourselves Lady on the Green. That was great. I'm purgatory. The dividing line. Of course, I don't know much. So, I better shut up. Is that curly? No, it's not a curly point. For the hole. Car and high. Yeah. So, Ogilvy still got a chance. If he wins on 16, that's it. Of course, we'll have to see bonus covers, probably. Probably. Flesh. Chance for Ogilvy. Oh, he's on the green. And there's an extra place to shoot. Ah. For the match. For Bogey. What? Well, 
Is that all the matches done, or? Oh, no, we still have two more matches that are out on the, the course. So that means we'll have some bonus coverage for you. We got Leo Daigle, who's crushing it against Olin Dutra, a pair of unknowns. Can Daigle do it? He's three up with four to play. They call him Smokey the Bear. Because he looks like Smokey the Bear in that hat. So, Dutra. Dutra better. Dutra better. And curling, 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 curling. Can Dutra get this hole? The answer is no. The park. Oh, what a clutch time. They won't be champ. And Dutra is so distraught, he lost it. So Dago moves on to the next round. On to 18. Old Tom Morris against Nota Begay. Old Tom Morris trying to get Scotland's five. I think this is their, their three out of four. Proof winning these things. Begay losing his touch. He knows he has to win this hole. A tie does nothing for Nota. Look at Oh, he hit something. What the hell did he hit? Okay, can he get a crawl? Uh, the greens are going to be too slow for the match. Mm. I think he should have lagged it. The park. Yeah. Those are the nine footer. Which he probably misses. So, old Tom Morris, all he had to do was tie the hole. He missed. So can Nota be gay actually shock the world and not go to the But here's the thing though, Begay actually had a very good round. And then it was 12, 13, 14, and Begay had to win 18 to do it. So yeah, he had a good start. Tom Morris does beat the guy, who kind of looks like a young Akibono. So we are down to the final 16. And all that we do have... No. Is every match a... Um, every ma Well, every match is a U.S. versus World. There's one, two, three... There's two matchups that don't have an American in it. So six Americans are in it. Look at the Scots. We got four Scots, two Aussies, a Colombian, a South African, a Brit, an Englishman, sorry, and our Swede. We will keep our eyeballs on the Apple B L's match because that feels intriguing. I know I couldn't say Mickelson and Hutchinson, but yeah, that's a little bit. So we'll keep our eye on Apple B L's. And, and Old Tom Morris versus Kenny Perry. So we'll deal with Apple B. Ells and Perry Morris. Tomorrow's coverage. And then bonus coverage if need be. So yeah. So this is a bit more wide open. America has only got 6 out of 16 golfers. So maybe a foreigner will win the tournament. Who knows. Anyway, I'm just having to do.